Hey everybody, it's Brick Waffle again, and we're back on the Ruins Let's Build mini series. So you can see in the uh, last video we made several structures. If you want to go see how I did those, go ahead and watch that last video. Link will be down there in the description. Um, but basically, for those of you that are just starting with this episode, what we're doing is building little structures that you could build in vanilla to help decorate your world. Just little things that might look neat if you just found them out in the wild. And if you want to use a mod like Ruins Structure Spawning System, also the link to that will be down in the description. You could uh, build these things and then copy them with that mod and let them generate randomly in your world for people to discover. Uh, and that is, again, the long-term plan for this when I do the Waffle Mods world. Uh, we're going to do a server restart here in another month or two. And I want some other structures other than the ones that people are used to seeing to generate out there. So these are what we're doing. And if you're wondering why this weird light stained clay down here at the bottom, this is light gray stained clay. Uh, in the last episode, it was granite. And then I realized if anybody wanted to use this with 1.7, they wouldn't actually have access to granite. Uh, and also they wouldn't have access to these. So some of these structures will work, some of them won't, uh, but we're gonna use light gray stained clay for these, uh, and that way it's a block that you won't see anywhere in the builds themselves. So when you use the mod to capture these, that will work just fine. And of course, if you're using vanilla, you don't have to do this at all. You just build these structures wherever you want, and uh, they're gonna look great, because you're gonna be able to tie them into the terrain in a really effective way. So picking up where we left off for the last video, what we wanna do is generate a few more things out here. So we're going to generate out a couple of more base plates, as they're called. And I think we're going to start today with a graveyard. So that's going to need to be a fairly large structure. And it might be the only one we do, depending on how it turns out and how long it takes us to get the details right. Um, but I'm going to try to do a couple of these little ruins uh, in each one of these episodes. So hopefully it doesn't take us the whole episode to do a graveyard. Uh, and really, I ought to use the fill commands because I'm in 1.8. Uh, but what I'm going to do instead is just uh, put down this base plate, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. All right, there we go. We've got a nice big area to start with. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some dirt and some other things around. What we want to do, though, um, is start out with some... Hmm, what do we want to start out with? We want to start with something that looks like it's going to lead up to this graveyard. So we're going to need some stone, maybe some cobblestone, maybe some cobblestone walls. Let's try that. And some of those are going to want to be mossy. So let's just do a big ring. And again, what we're going to do, just like the last video, we're going to start, with, we're going to leave a little bit of overhang in case we need decorations that stick out. Uh, and we're going to frame this out as though it were a perfectly functional, nice graveyard, and then we're going to ruin it a little bit. Um, and again, with stone, it doesn't have to be ruined very much. We'll be able to use some mossy cobblestone and some mossy stone walls, but that's going to be the basic area. And then let's do some cobblestone walls on top of that. All of this is going to look pretty decent. There we go. Yep, all the way around. Very fun watching me place walls. Okay, so that is going to be our initial startup. And then we're going to want some coarse dirt. And the reason we want coarse dirt is because grass won't grow on it. And that's what we want. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's not do that. I take it back. As soon as I said that, let's put some grass in here. And again, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up real quick. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll use the coarse dirt for the actual graves. Um, so before we get there, let's take a couple of these walls out and replace them with some mossy ones. Let's even do this whole corner as mossy. Uh, that guy looks good. Over here we need a couple. And that's just going to help us make this place look a little bit more um, like it's fallen apart, like it's been abandoned or neglected for a while. And then one there, and maybe three. Oh yeah, like that. That looks good. Okay, so we've got some moss. And then we can also do the same thing with regular mossy cobblestone. Um, so we'll just grab that guy, and probably wherever this is mossy, we're going to want the stuff underneath it to be mossy as well. Let's go out a little bit that way. Uh, maybe these two over here. Maybe it starts spreading all the way down to this corner and out to that side. That one's going to be okay. Let's connect these three with the moss. That's looking much better. Okay, so those two over here. One guy that way. And let's see, just that one. What about this corner? Just that corner? Now let's go all the way out. And I think it's going to look better if this spreads a little bit. Okay, so now we've got some moss and some cobble. It's pretty straightforward. So let's get rid of those things for now. And we're going to want to put in some graves here. We'll figure out exactly where people are going to come into this graveyard in a little bit. So we could have some that are just this way, right? Basic, basic graves. And we'll, we need a little headstone back here. Maybe let's just leave a little room this way. Yeah, that's going to be better. So some of these are going to be graves. And I want one of these to be open. And then let's leave room on this side. I'll show you why we want to do that in a minute. And actually, let's let's do it this way. Let's leave this one in the middle kind of open. All right, so then we need some tombstones. So we could just do more walls. 
and that would be all right. And they look really silly by themselves. Two of them looks a little strange, but they're not really lined up correctly. Uh, what else can we use? We can use stairs, certainly. Uh, that looks a little weird. That looks better, but it still looks kind of strange from the other side. What else could we use? What do you guys think? I really wish we had standing vertical slabs. If you're listening, Mo Yang, that would be fantastic. Give us those, some of those vertical slabs. Could use anvils. That's going to look a little strange. Could use fences. We could use gates. All those things are possible. We could also use some armor stands, actually. Armor stands might work. Um, hmm. What do you think of that? Armor stand? No, 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 no. That, that doesn't look good at all. Not all of these are going to need headstones. Some of them might just have a lump of rock in front. So I think we're going to play around with a couple of different designs. Let's, let's put a few of these out and see what it looks like. So there's stairs. There's a cobblestone pillar. Just a basic marker. Um, this is just going to be a chunk of stone. A whole thing. Um, what else can we do in here? What are good options? This one's going to be a nice little flat one. It's just going to be a, a stone slab. And then... Hmm. What do you guys think? Let's try one of the anvils. Uh, very damaged anvil. Nope, not that way. That way. You know, the anvil actually looks pretty decent. Um, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Put a couple of anvils out. Let's do a couple, oops, not that. A couple of stone slabs, and that'll be all right. Okay, so we can put in some signs if we wanted to put like, names on some of these things. Obviously, that's going to look better on some things than others. Um, let's do this and then just do RIP. Okay. Eh, that's all right. I'm going to leave it for now. Let's do one over here. Nope, can't do that. That way. RIP. And we can put funny names on here if we wanted to. No, I don't like that at all. But I think we just want some markers. We just, I mean, people are going to walk up and go, oh, it's a graveyard. I think we're fine. Um, and we're going to take that off too. Let's try one other thing. Let's look at the chiseled, not monster egg, chiseled stone bricks, like that. You know, that might be all right. We're going to leave it. As Carlos would say, just be happy about it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use some stone bricks and probably some quartz pillars. Um, so let's get some stone bricks. And maybe some cracked, maybe some mossy, maybe some more chiseled, probably some stairs. And we're going to do a little mausoleum over here. And it's not going to be very big. And let's see, just has to be big enough to put a couple, like a big altar in here, or a sub, um, tomb, basically. Uh, so pillar quartz, that's going to look pretty nice. And let's just drop those in there for now. That's going to need to come back, maybe one more? Yeah. Ooh, I don't like what that does to the edge here. Nope, we're not going to do that. It's going to be small, it's going to be very, very small. And we're just going to have two graves in here, and we're going to do those out of just stone slabs. So let's do that at the end here. One there and one there. And it's going to be, yeah, might be hard to tell, but we're, we're going to make this work. Okay, so let's throw, let's go ahead and just build this with stone bricks, and then we'll just do what we normally do and make some of them look old and decayed after the fact. That's going to be all right. And then it just needs to have kind of a sloped roof. Um, so we're just going to do this. Very, very basic structure. Again, we're not trying to do anything incredibly fancy here. Um, let's go up one and across. Oops. And up one. We'll take those other ones out in a minute. Don't worry about that. Oops, get rid of that guy. Take that out and that out. And then up here, we're just going to top that off that way and that way. And then let's see what we need to do inside. We need to bring this up one and same thing back here. Like that. Yeah, okay. And then this skylight has to go. That looks really bad. So it's not going to be obvious that these are graves necessarily, but it's going to be obvious that this is a little mausoleum. We are going to put in some blocks down here. That's going to make it look a little bit better. And let's do some chiseled blocks. So let's do one right back here in the center. That looks like it's been put there on purpose. And let's do some mossy here. Oops, not there. Right there. Let's do a mossy one up there. Let's do a mossy one right there by the front. And maybe the ceiling is mossy now, too. And actually, you know what? I think this is going to need to be showing some wear and tear. And then some cracked bricks. So, see, so cracked brick there. Um, the other part of the ceiling should be cracked. That's going to look nice and dangerous. All three of those should be cracked. Um, maybe this one down here should be cracked. What do you guys think? That looks better? Okay. 
So in here, this is going to be pretty scary, and we actually want this to have a spawner in it. Um, so let's see if we can get... Oops. Oh, that's right. We can't do a monster spawner in vanilla like that. We could do that. We can add some things. If you're doing this in mods and you can create a spawner, great. If you're doing this in vanilla and you can't, that's okay too. Uh, we could we could just drop a zombie spawner back there. Uh, we could also put in a dropper back here that could dispense some things when people walk in. Maybe it's trapped. Let's do that. No, not a dropper then. We want a dispenser. I think we can do that. So dispenser is going to come in here and it's going to be... Oh, it's, let's do it in this way. Nobody's going to see this, I don't think. Um, so it's going to be a dispenser. And that's going to be... How are we going to get a signal up to that? That's going to be kind of tricky to do. Hmm, I wonder. I've never tried this before. Um, let's do crack stone bricks again. Let's do a dispenser. And can you put a pressure plate right on top of that? And have it, have it fire through there? Oops. That does look like it's going to work. So what if we put a potion in here? A splash potion of poison. Let's see if I can get to the dispenser. Is that going to fire up at me? It is. Perfect. Okay, great. So that we can trap this little thing up. That's going to be awesome. I need some more of those splash potions. Poison. Splash potion of poison. Let's go ahead and get um, a poison one and a poison two. And yeah, that'll be fine. A longer poison. One of each of those. So this is going to be pretty dangerous. It's going to be random which of those poisons you get. But if you do come in here and you trip on it, and like, oh man, there's poison, and you manage to get in there, you'll get a couple potions for your trouble. All right, and then I guess we just need a little bit of a torch here in the back. Let's see if we can do this without tripping that. Right there, to light the place up. Or do, let's not. Let's, let's keep it dark. I like it. Well, no, because then if a monster spawns in there, it might trigger the trap for us. And then we want a door. And again, we could use an iron door with a button. What does that look like? That actually looks pretty good. And so somebody's going to have to break in here. It's sealed off. It's a mausoleum. They're going to have to break into it with a pick if they want to get into anything that's exciting in there. All right, so we've got some graves. And that one actually is looking a little too close now. So let's go ahead and take that guy out. We'll break that. Just four graves, that thing. And then we need an entrance to the mausoleum or the, whole, the graveyard area. So let's do that. And we're going to put in a gate. Let's use dark oak. What does that look like? That's not bad. I think that's okay. And then let's go ahead and put a torch on either side so it's obvious which way the entrance is. And we'll do, yeah, I think that's good. We're going to leave that just like that. Should we do some plants in here? We probably should. Uh, what kind of plants do we want? Just some grass. Don't want a whole lot of flowers because remember, this is going to be abandoned. It's not like somebody's going over here and planting flowers all the time. So some grass there, here, there, back here, a couple back there like that. This one, maybe that's a um, there. Okay, got that one. Okay, yeah, that's, that's looking better. Just a few pieces of grass randomly in here. And maybe we do have a couple of flowers. Somebody left some and they've gone, they've gone wild. So we've got one that's maybe right there on top of that grave. I like that. And what else can we do with this? Is that looking pretty good? What do you guys think? I know you can't answer me right now while I'm recording. I'm going to have to make a decision. What about iron bars? I mean, we got to be careful. That could be giving away a lot of resources. But what does it look like if we actually make this a metal fence on top? Mmm, I don't like what that does to the cobblestone walls. Yuck. Uh, what if we took out the cobblestone walls on this side, for example, and replaced all of those with iron bars? It was like an iron fence. Oh, they don't connect up to the corner slabs. Hmm. We could still do that, though, right? That could be all right. I think that... Actually, that might look good. Then we don't need the walls at all. What do you guys think? Iron... Yeah, I like that, actually. I'm glad you guys agree. So we're going to take out all of these cobblestone walls. We're going to leave the moss under there, because I think that's all right. We're going to put cobblestone there. Cobblestone there. Cobblestone there. Cobblestone there. You won't connect up at all, will you? Darn. Okay. Yep. Cobblestone there. That's going to be a nice big entrance. And maybe we can do something a little bit more exciting with that gate. But that's going to be pretty good, I think. I think I'm going to like this. So finish up all the iron bars. Now, I will say that the one downside to this is it won't keep any monsters from walking right over them. Because they can, they can walk over these iron bars. Um, you can see that without flying, if I just jump, I can go right over it. Which means a monster could too. But that's all right. Again, it's an abandoned graveyard. It's not supposed to be perfect. Now, if you really wanted to, we could go too, whoops, too tall on all these fences and all the way across. You know, I don't like that. I don't think it's going to look good. I think we want it to look like this. I like that a lot. Now, what about um, replacing... No, I like that to connect up to the cobblestone walls. I think, that, I think that's good. I like it. 
All right, so we're going to stop hemming and hawing over that. We're going to call that one good, and I like that. That doesn't look too bad. So if you wanted to build that in vanilla, it'd be pretty easy to do. I have a nice little graveyard out to one side. And again, um, maybe what we want to do... No, the iron bar should be here. I was going to say we could break some of this up a little bit, but I think it's okay. It looks rotted enough. Now, this should be interesting for folks. Maybe... Do we need to do anything down in here? Probably not. What about some carpets? Does it need to look like it's... Well, because who knows what this will generate on. Yeah, carpets are going to be strange. Somebody's going to wonder why their grave was carpeted. Okay, should we have a chest to make that trap in the mausoleum worthwhile? Maybe we should. Nah, because then people are just going to go around it. Yeah, okay, we're going to leave that alone too. So that's going to be it for the graveyard. Alright, we've got time to do maybe one more little ruin today in this video, and it's going to have to be fairly small. I don't want to go too long with these videos, but I do want to try and get at least one or two done in each one of these. In our previous one, they were all very small, and we got four of them knocked out. Um, but let's just do something over here about that size. We should be able to do that in a few minutes. So what else do we want to generate? We could have some trees. We could have some specially generated trees. That would be all right. Not the greatest thing. Uh, we could have some note blocks. We could even do a little note block contraption that goes out there in the world. Um, we could do TNT and build some traps, although that's going to be difficult to do in my testing world. I don't want to blow everything up. Bookshelves. Maybe somebody actually built some things. Ooh, a nether portal. Now that's an interesting idea. What if you randomly found some nether portals out in the world? Okay, uh, so let's do like this. And then we're going to come up one. We're going to come up by several of these. This is going to be a little bit larger than normal for a nether portal. Yeah. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, yeah, I know some of you might be thinking if you watch my channel for a while, we could do the Dragon Skull Nether Portal and those could show up randomly in the world. But that is a lot of quartz to give away like that. Um, obsidian, you can make obsidian. It's not that big of a deal. But I don't want these to all just be things that you can find them and it's a huge loot, uh, loot hog for you. Um, but let's do, let's do a little bit of, hmm, what should we do with that? Let's do nether brick. So we need some nether brick stairs. Let's get some nether bricks, some fences. Um, and mm, mm, maybe some quartz. We'll see about that. Okay, so we want this to be nether brick here. Oops, not, not that far. Nether brick like this. And then we want some nether brick stairs uh, leading up to it. And actually, I want to do it this way. Let's do it that way. And I'll show you why I'm going to do that in just a minute. So turn those outside. Okay, yep, so those are nice little stairs. Imagine if it generated flat with the ground. You just walk right up here. And then we want some nether brick fences up, up, up like this. I'm going to leave a gap there. I'll show you again why in a minute. Let's just leave one for the top. And let's go get some... Where is it? Glowstone. Put that there. So this is going to be a really easy portal to spot from a long way off. And then what we want to do is get some nether rack. And what fun would this be without fire? So we're going to put some nether rack in there. We're going to set that on fire at the very end. So it's going to generate like a big flaming portal out here. Um, so in between that, though, we want to generate out some little interesting structures. So we're going to do whoop, we're going to do it this way. Stack up some upside down stairs on that side, and again on this side. Whoop! There we go. I like the way that's coming together. And we're going to do one more at the top, and that's going to have to be like that. And I need a temporary block to put them, whoop, put them upside down. Good. And then let's do some slabs across this way. You know what? Hmm. What if we do... What if, yeah, what if we just take those out? Does that look all right? No, it's not tall enough. What if we do them the other way, though? Does that look better? And then maybe this way? Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so that's looking pretty interesting. It kind of looks like nether street lamps. Not sure about that. Um, but we are going to bring this out and come across the top so that those fences are there for a reason. There. Okay. That's looking pretty decent. And nothing should spawn up here because it's all... Well, yeah, it's all half slabs at the bottom and then stair blocks. So that shouldn't be a problem. For Nothing should spawn at top. Nothing should spawn at the bottom because of all the light we're going to have. And in fact, because of all the light we're going to have, let's not use the glowstone. Let's just take that out entirely. And we're only going to light this with fire. So let's put those back. Just fence posts. I like it. Okay, and we could even do some fence posts across the top. Is that too much? No, it kind of looks like another portcullis. I like that. 
So we'll do that across the top here, some nice decorations. And let's get some flint and steel and light everything up. So if we light these corners, those will never go out because it's netherrack. And if it's if this generates in a forest, yeah, it's going to cause some forest fires, but no worse than if you have like lava falls or anything else generating out in the world. It, it'll cause a little bit of a fire, it'll go out, and then it won't spread anymore. I think that looks really neat. So I think we're going to call that good as well. So we've got a nice little graveyard over here and another portal. And of course, what good would this be if you didn't see it all at night? So let's do that real quick. Oh yeah, that's looking way cool. So I like the graveyard at night. It's a little bit lit up. You can see in here, somebody will want to know what's in there because there's a torch inside. They're going to look and see. They probably can't see. They might, yeah, you can kind of see the pressure plate if you know what you're looking for, but maybe, maybe they're just going to break in here and run in real quick. Um, and this nether portal looks good. I like it a lot. I don't want it to be really lit up at the top. I thought about doing some glowstone like right up here, um, right there actually. Let's see what it would look like. Um, I'm just worried that it's going to draw too much attention to it. Well, that looks kind of silly just sticking out by itself like that. What if we covered that around? What does that look like? Well, that's not so bad. Okay, so maybe if you're if you're flying around from the air, you can see that. No, I don't think that's going to be a huge deal. Um, but this looks like a little reinforced nether portal. I think people are going to like that. You can obviously generate that in your world pretty quickly. And uh, hopefully that will entice people to go through and see what's on the other side. All right, so I'm going to set the time back to, uh, let's see, 6,000. And that's going to be noon time, so great. I think this is looking really good. We're going to call it there. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, then please subscribe. And as always, I've been Brick Waffle. Thank you for watching.